The Amazon River is filled with mystery and intrigue. Scientists have barely scratched the surface on just how many species call the hostile river their home. Yet we do know there are many dangers lurking beneath the murky waters. It's not unusual to see massive snakes, swimming spiders, and carnivorous fish rampaging through the waters. Some of the animals there look more like they belong in a Lovecraft novel rather than in our real world. Today we're going to look at some of the most dangerous creatures that live within the Amazon River, as well as how valuable these enigmatic beasts can be. So let's get started. Arapaima can be massive. Usually they're around 7 feet in length. However, some reports have them at 15 feet long and weighing 440 pounds, which is more than WWE wrestler The Big Show at 384 pounds. Due to their incredible bulk, the Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish in the world. They also have an armored skin to protect themselves from other foes such as piranhas. Arapaima are also air-breathing fish. They can usually be found near the surface of the water, as they can only be submerged for a maximum of 20 minutes before needing to come up for air. Arapaima are hugely sought after by fishers due to their incredible size, but not everyone is keen on braving the Amazon River to find this fishy beast. As a result, there is the Piraruku Lodge in Brazil. It's a fishing lodge that is also a sustainable development reserve. They farm arapaima for people to catch until their heart's content. But it's not for cheap. For five nights, the cost is around $5,485 per person. That's not taking into account insurance, international flights, and other such costs. So, with that on the top, the price could be between 8 to 10 grand. You don't want none of this anaconda. The green anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world. They've been known to reach 30 feet in length and weigh an astonishing 555 pounds, which is more than Andre the Giant was at 520 pounds. If you came across this monster snake in the Amazon, you might think getting into the water would be a good way to escape. Nope. In fact, their scientific name is Eunestis marinus, with Eunestis derived from the word that means good swimmer in Greek. Former U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt desperately wanted a 30-foot snake. After almost meeting his demise in the Amazon basin, Roosevelt put out a reward to anybody who could provide a massive snake. It started with an offer of $1,000 in the early 1900s. After Roosevelt's passing, the Bronx Zoo continued the reward. It was eventually raised to $50,000 in 1980. There were a number of claims, but on further inspection, the snakes didn't reach the elusive 30 feet. In 2002, the reward was thankfully dropped in order to discourage people from disturbing wild snakes for some cash. Bull sharks are a very aggressive species. They can reach 12 feet and weigh 500 pounds. They're usually found near the salty ocean shore. However, they have been known to venture into fresh water such as the Amazon River. The bull sharks have a special kidney that can change in salinity of the surrounding water and adapt accordingly. Due to this, some scientists have described the bulls as the most dangerous sharks in the world. However, their numbers have been shrinking in the last couple of decades. Their fins are especially sought after as they can be used in cooking. Shark fins can be as much as $500 per pound. If for some reason you want to get an up-close and personal look at these beasts, then you can swim with them in Mexico. The cost of spending the day with the bulls is around $200. However, this doesn't take into account flights, accommodation, and other such fees. You'll also need an advanced open water certificate in order to scuba dive with these creatures. The price of such a credential can be as much as $500 for a two to three day course. Black caimans are the largest in the alligator family and can reach nearly 17 feet in length. The dark color of its skin is used as camouflage in the murky depths of the Amazon River, especially when it hunts at night. The color is also believed to help them absorb sunlight during the day, which is useful since they're cold-blooded critters. Black caimans will eat anything they can get their jaws on, which is mostly fish and other reptiles. But if a mammal gets too close to the water, they could be caiman bait as well. At one point, black caimans were endangered due to the value of their hide and meat. Nowadays, the species is doing better. Their skin is still turned into leather for fashion, however. The caiman leather is said to be brittle due to bony plates under the skin, yet there is still a market for it. The price of a whole caiman leather hide can be sold for $270 each online, while the leather of crocodiles can be sold for $650. Caiman skin cowboy boots can be sold for over a thousand, with suede caiman hybrids costing as much as two grand. The fish of legend and myth. While Hollywood has exaggerated their gnashing feats, the red-bellied piranhas aren't to be taken lightly. They have many razor-sharp teeth. They usually stay in large groups their whole lives, mostly as a form of protection. The red-bellied variety has been known to reach a whopping 20 inches in length. They will usually consume fish, insects, and other such creatures. 
However, if a weaker animal is in the water, they will consume that if there's little resistance. They will try their luck on a strong animal if they're starving. The sale of these creatures is prohibited in some US states. But if you live in one of the states that are fine with it, you could have your own water monster. For the small size of 0.75 inch to 1 inch, it'll cost you around $10 each. Considering that they are pack creatures, you might need a large number of them. However, if you want the larger size of 7 inches, you're looking at around $150 a piece. Once again, you'll likely need to buy multiple. Piranhas also eat a lot, and as such, the cost of owning them can easily fall into the thousands. They might look colorful and inviting, but like anything with a bright color in nature, there's a big reason why that's the case. The colors are to deter predators and warn of dangers. This is called a posmatism. The poison dart frogs are considered one of the most toxic creatures on Earth. They secrete their infamous poison through their skin. If an animal tries to eat one, it could be fatal for them. Some tribes in the Amazon have used the poison to coat their weapons with when hunting, hence the frog's name. The frogs develop the poison due to what they consume in the Amazon. Frogs in captivity won't produce the poison depending on their diet. So with that in mind, you can actually purchase your own poison dart frog, depending on the color. Whether it was born in captivity or in the wild, and the exact species, the price can vary. Most estimates are between $45 to $150 online, and frog terrariums can go for $50 to $250, depending on the size. Yet with so many amazing colors, you might fancy collecting a whole rainbow of frogs, which would mean a lot of frogs, a lot of terrariums, and a lot of money being spent. For those that are scared of spiders, we're afraid not even water is safe to get away from them. All over the world, variations of the fishing spider can be found. With the Amazon River variety being one of the most fearsome, they can be as large as 1.6 inches. Fishing spiders get their name due to how they hunt. They walk on top of the water. Their legs are covered in sensitive spines that can detect vibrations within the water. When a fish or a frog is close enough, they pounce. They quickly ingest a paralyzing agent that slowly liquefies the creature's insides. Nice. They've even been known to create an air bubble in order to dive into the water. If you're a spider fan, you can buy a medium-sized Dolometis okafinokensis species online for around $40. It's also recommended that they are housed in a 10-gallon terrarium, the cost of which can be around $100. Fishing spiders can cause havoc with people's ponds. Small pond fancy goldfish can cost between a couple of dollars all the way up to 30, giving a stray fishing spider the potential to cost the pond owner a lot of money and fish. If things that bite and sting aren't bad enough in the Amazon River, there's also something that can electrocute you. Electric eels can be as long as 8 feet and weigh 44 pounds. Their bodies contain thousands of special cells called electrocytes. These cells are like batteries. They store up electrical energy. When they're attacking or doing some hunting, they release the built-up charge to stun their foe. These eels are like sentient tasers. Most of the species are thought to produce around 650 volts. However, a recent Amazon species was discovered that can produce 860 volts, the strongest of any animal. For comparison, a car battery produces just 12.6 volts. If you want this slithering taser as a pet, well, it's going to cost a far bit, around about $742. That's not taking into account its habitat and feeding fees. Due to its size, it's going to need a massive 200-gallon tank at least, and those can cost over $5,000. Due to the danger, most places won't sell someone an electric eel if the buyer has children in the house. We're going to stick with Cocker Spaniels as pets. The Matamata -mata turtle is certainly a strange-looking species, probably why Pokemon use them for the inspiration for designing the Turtinator. Matamatas can grow up to 20 inches and weigh 33 pounds. Their unique appearance makes it easy for them to camouflage in the Amazon waters. Due to their resemblance to foliage, Matamatas hide in the water debris as they hunt. Once they see a fish, they'll use their really long necks. The Matamata -mata will dart their head near the fish. Then they use a vacuum effect with their mouth to suck the fish within. Once they close the mouth, they slowly expel the water and finally, they swallow the fish whole. Yum! Due to their incredible looks, they're highly sought after by turtle pet owners, but the species is also rare. A nearly fully grown Matamata -mata can be bought for just shy of $1,000. Due to their hefty potential size, the Matamatas -mata require a big tank in adulthood. Most experts state that the tank should be a minimum of 125 gallons. The fancy tanks of this size can be as much as three and a half grand. It's easy to see why the Payara are known as vampire fish, because of their giant lower fangs, of course. The fangs actually go right into holes in the upper jaw when their mouths are closed. It's bizarre. There have been reports of the Payara reaching up to 3.8 feet in length, but the adults are usually around 1 to 1.7 feet. 
The payara use their fangs to impale smaller fish to eat. They're aggressive and known for their incredible quick speed as they hunt. They've been known to consume up to 50% of their own body weight. You too could be the proud owner of a vampire. Most of the costs are between $80 to $190 for a 4 to 5 inch payara. But if you want the thrill of battling this beast yourself, that's possible too. Instead of traipsing through the Amazon, you can go to one of the lodges nearby in Brazil, such as the Amazon Roosevelt Lodge. You can try and fish up a payara for the price of nearly $4,000 per person for an eight-night stay. That doesn't take into account international flights, bait, or other additional fees, so it could push up the cost to around six to $7,000. And that's it. Which of our beasts frightened you the most? Do you own any of these creatures? Pop your comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Those really help us out. Finally, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.